Yo, what is up? We are back again with uh, how to make general and uh, today's video is about attacking and uh, I'm going to share, some, share with you some of my thoughts on how to proceed in uh, attacking in episode 6 and how to make use of uh, your the, the best way to do it and the quickest and best way to do it. Now, as you know, we are attacking. What you need to do is, at, is do a lot of damage and put yourself inside the cap circle. Now, before um, before anything, remember to subscribe and hit the notification button, especially if you're here for the front line. Um, sorry, if you're here for the mod pack videos, uh, it's going to be very useful for you when you get a notification for those updates. Now, we are in Bravo Cap, and Bravo Cap is one of the easiest cap uh, to cap, one of the easiest objectives to cap. Now, saying that, usually the first three tanks that go into the bravo cap usually usually die now you can go into the bravo cap if there are five of you if there are five of you you are more than likely to be successful in capping but i like to play the safety game and i like this is my insurance policy i come into the eastern side of the uh, bravo objective and I snipe along the line that those guys that are trying to flank around the sides of the Bravo cap. Now, and this is what I'm doing. I'm shooting across to shoot those guys. Uh, there, those guys. What I'm going to do is melt them down first before I go in to the Bravo capture. Now, also on the ledge of the Charlie objective, you can see those guys are going to be protect protecting us or providing the overwatch. If anyone is coming from this side to come and push to us, uh, those guys on the ledge are going to snipe them down. Now this is very important because I want to be aggressive but I also don't want to lose my tank early in Bravo. I want to cap it out. I want to earn as much capture points as I can but I also don't want to uh, needlessly YOLO in there and lose my tank. Look at this guy. He's already there. If I was one of the three or five guys that went into Bravo capture circle, I would have most likely died to that... Um, a defender now you see me now approaching the bravo cap and why am i going the long way around instead of driving straight to it this is why i'm using this house to keep myself in between uh, uh keep this house in between me and those guys shooting at us so that i can approach safely into the capture circle uh, without getting damaged and this is the line that you take unfortunately i got surprised by this guy i didn't see him coming and uh, I got stunned by him. Fortunately, he didn't penetrate me, but uh, that's okay. I only took a little bit of damage and I'm safe in here now. I might not have been the first guy to arrive in the capture circle, but needless to say, nevertheless, I'm still here and I'm still going to earn a lot of capture points. Now, the first um, objective is going really well for me. I'm going to earn a lot of capture points uh, from this, but it's going to go a bit sour from this moment onwards but in this video i am going to capture five of the six objectives and i'm going to earn capture points out of the five out of six objectives a b c d e f i'm going to have five out of these six and i'm going to show you how this game mode is about mobility and you're going to see me use that to the fullest potential you see me charging full forward here even after capture i'm ignoring the capture i'm ignoring the repair station here on my left going forward but i decide to repair it why because you can see there's a projector right in front of me near the edge of the capture uh, edge of the uh, bravo box and he's not spotting anything which means there's nothing for me to go forward to anyway because i was thinking i could use the remainder of my hp go and f and get as much damage as i can and maybe get myself injured or whatever lose some hp and i could still return back to the uh, bravo um repair station and top up myself and continue on my journey but uh, i saw that red projecto did not spawn anything so i might as well repair myself now and try to engage these guys here what am i doing i am i'm wanting to go to the alpha side of the map i want to go there and try and uh get into the cap circle or try to distract those guys on the uh alpha defense team so that my team on the alpha side can get into the cap circle and pressure them on the cap now if i am taking attention of uh, these guys that's going to relieve some pressure on the guys on my team on the alpha side and they could pos possibly um 
cap them out uh, with less resistance but unfortunately I am being held here by uh, there is a Somua here and there's a T28 and to be honest with you this is a bad play by me I should have just walked away and gone straight north instead and tried to fight the um, tank destroyer up north with that proje projecto on my team uh, but what this replay is not showing you is how often I am toggling the uh, team sheet and the map. Um, the team sheet, I'm constantly toggling and looking what's ahead, what's on my team. And uh, there was no prospect for me going forward. Uh, besides me and the Progetto, there was a lot on the enemy team that was spawning on this side of the map. Uh, on the Bravo and uh, we see the Bravo Echo. Uh, the line that I was in so there was no point of me going forward which is why I was trying to uh, stay here and push my way towards the left side of the map which is Alpha now I've decided that you know there's no point in me trying to fight a T28 he's gonna just like completely impenetrable from the front so there's not not much I can do you can see me contemplating what I should do uh, now one of the brave guys have decided to go forward so I like okay I could go forward as well if this, this guy is brave enough to go but then here there is a there is a T69 here an auto loader and it's just gonna like you know ruin my day he's tracked me and I need to repair it's not going well for me right now uh, it's gonna turn out to be like a very normal game for me uh, and now I'm getting shot by like I said there was a lot of enemies on my side of the map and there was no point for me pushing forward and I can't even see him sniping at me that EBR is invincible invisible to me so finally I've crossed over into Alpha the T28 has uh, reversed back and I'm trying to get into the cap circle but as you can see my teammates in Alpha have already gone into the capture circle and they're already capturing it so which means I've just wasted all my HP here doing nothing fighting a T28 which I could get no damage out of I got one or two shots but that's about it now I'm really frustrated here and really upset with myself and now I'm trying to head to the repair station I tried to shoot this SU-130 trying to run away but I didn't even get him now I want to get to the repair station as quickly as possible try and top myself off but I get shut down by a RHM Borsig that was sniping me as he was uh, running away or retreating and uh, what do I need to do now Alpha and Bravo have already been captured looks like the only viable place for me to go is Charlie I could well Alpha is completely shut down and Echo is there there's no one in Echo for me to push forward to so the only viable option right now is for me is in Charlie and remember what I said about mobility in this game this isn't a very mobile tank when i talk about mobility i'm talking about the option of switching sides changing positions giving up giving up your tank either unintentionally like what happened to me i died or intentionally by hitting the j button and abandoning your tank i am using my option of mobility switching tanks and switching flanks now i'm on charlie and what i want to do with this kind of a run action x is get into the cap now this is a cab, uh, a tank that I got up from the um, uh, black, what was that, black market mode and I got 9 million credits and I bought this tank. Uh, if I wasn't in this tank, I would be in the Tech Tree Kayana Veron, the tier 8 version. Why I'm taking this tank instead of the Defender? Why? Because this tank can shoot a lot faster, I can defend myself against fast tanks that would YOLO me or rush me LT432's uh, um, EBR75 links they would circle around the cap circle and try to shoot me in the back I could defend myself because this reload time is like 5 seconds whereas a defender is going to take 8-9 seconds to reload it's really hard to defend yourself in a defender yes you have better armor but it's a trade-off you know I, I have less capable armor in my Kayana Veron Action X but I have a reliable gun that can reload quickly now I'm not 
going to get into the capture C uh, objective C on my own I need to wait for some backup and here I have some backup the FV4202 is here but that's not enough this is a medium FV4202 is a medium tank it does not have a lot of armor I need some meaningful tanks to come and join me and get into the cap circle here is a projecto 46 joining us but that's not enough three of us is not gonna do i'm getting a little bit frustrated here because uh, we are not advancing uh, i am clicking the map furiously in order to capture uh, charlie you need to push on two fronts on that left lane and straight into the c uh, uh c objective with the heavy tanks you need to push on two fronts and that's the only way you can successfully capture C. Now, I have no confidence at all in these three guys capturing it. I think they are going to die, which is why I'm sitting behind here. But I can see the on the eastern side of the map, you can see those guys, a medium light tanks pushed forward. And I have artillery strikes on me. I'm going to strike that corner. And I see those guys on the eastern side pushing forward, pushing those snipers on the right side of the map, which gave me confidence to push forward. So I'm pushing straight forward here. And uh, the IS-3 is a serious tank with serious armor. And so is my tank. I can tank some armor, absorb some armor, and uh, do a little bit of capture. Uh, hopefully I can survive this barrage, which is my intention. And me pushing forward and the IS-3 pushing forward has inspired some of our teammates to push forward as well and because of that we are successful in capturing now every time I capture I'm sharing the capture points with my teammates but I seem to be I seem to be gaining about half a rank every time I successfully capture with my teammates now at this point it is a good time for me to abandon the tank because it has served its purpose by capturing C I can abandon it and switch you know hold j for 15 seconds wait for another 25 seconds and switch to another tank switch to another flank or switch to a quicker tank but why am i staying in this tank well i'm going to show you in a minute uh, because i'm going to click on the map and show you what's going on in the map now what this this um replay isn't showing is how many times i click on the map and how many times i click on the team sheets uh, what you see when you see the map showing up and the team sheet showing up in the replay is because i'm actually manually clicking it while i am recording uh, this replay uh, just to show you what's going on in the map now i'm repairing going in the repair station repairing my tank and i'm driving straight to foxtrot to cap it look at the map alpha bravo charlie is capped delta echo uh, that's where all the enemy is and why is all the enemy there because I am checking the team sheet all the time like I said I check it a lot check the team sheet and check the maps a lot if you want to have situational awareness and know and make the correct decisions here you go I'm trying to show you there that I was clicking on the map and the team sheets you saw that there were only three guys on the enemy team here three or four guys on the enemy team one of them is dead so there's no one defending this flank which is why I stayed in this tank because I would have taken 15 seconds and, and plus another 25 seconds to abandon this tank abandon this tank and switch to another another tank so I might as well stay in this tank and just drive forward you don't even see me taking evasive measures here normally you would go into that you know that uh, little drain there on that right side to, to stay hull down or stay hidden I'm just driving straight in the open into the cap circle because there is absolutely no one there and whoever is there can't really kill me can't really damage me or can't really stop me from capturing now you can see all the medium and quick tanks have already gone into the um, into the uh, foxtrot objective and I'm one of the last ones to get in there I'm going straight in now I didn't mean to push this guy out of the way but I need to get into this corner and I want to use my body to protect the rest of the, these guys behind me. I'm side scraping against the left side and the right side which is why I'm parked precisely this way. I'm parked this way for a purpose because I'm angling myself against these guys which wasn't enough angle so I'm turning myself a little bit more to angle against the Samoa and the uh, SP-1C but right now if I'm angling against the guys on my right I'm I am kind of like um, opening up myself a little bit to the guys on my left but I have to take that chance I'm taking the chance that the guys on my left can't really penetrate me so I'm just angling myself against the guy on the right now that I've captured and earned another um, half a rank here uh, to get into captain half a captain anyway 
I need to abandon my tank right now. But why am I not abandoning my tank? I want to make use of see if I can shoot this T-34 and kill him and get a little bit of damage before I abandon this tank and move into the next objective which is uh, Delta or Echo. Now like I said, I was going to get a general in this game by capturing five out of the six objectives. Now you saw me capture already Bravo, you saw me capture uh, Charlie and now you see me capture Foxtrot. This is cap already three cap circles that I've contributed to. Now I've not killed myself yet. Why? Because there is a Somua here which maybe I could get one or two more shots in even though I'm ammo wrecked. Uh, I've turned on the uh, Inspire on. Maybe it will help me in my reload a little bit. But it's still very slow. But he's dead. Now, now I am positively hitting the J button. I'm going to stop the tank, hit the J button and kill myself. But then, oh my god, the artillery strike turns on. So I might as well use the artillery strike and try to bomb something. Now I'm hitting the J button and wait for 15 seconds to abandon my tank. And hopefully get into a quicker tank, get into a different flank and uh, try to contribute more into this game. Now I am halfway into Captain, uh, which isn't really working out for me to be honest with you i want to be rank major right now if i could but uh, unfortunately i'm still rank captain i'm a little bit nervous here and i can't really fault myself too much because in this game mode i am actually going for credits i'm shooting a lot less premium shells because uh, i am already in prestige um, prestige six at this time uh, i'm already you know i'm I'm keeping up with the game. I don't need to uh, catch up with the game. So I don't need to shoot a lot of premium shells to to make sure that, you know, I, I rank up quick as quick as I can. But if you are behind in, in Prestige 4, Prestige 5, you are way behind. You need to rank up quickly as possible. So you need to shoot a lot of premium rounds. I, fortunately, I'm already caught up. So I don't need to shoot any premium rounds. I can just shoot my standard AP shells. Now look at me here. There's no one here because... I was looking at the team sheet and I was looking at the maps and I know where everyone was. Get into my EBR, immediately start capping. There is a hero HWK30 there that is distracting everyone on that repair station in front of me. As you can see, it is slowing that kind of a run Action X down. If he had not paid attention to that HWK30 on my team, he could have possibly come here and maybe kill me, reset me or do something significant. But instead, I've kept myself unspotted. I am not spotted here, so I am earning almost all the capture points here. Uh, some of my teammates have joined me. I'm, I'm still remaining unspotted until this kind of run. I've already captured it even before he spotted me. And I'm just going to add some finishing touches, possibly kill him. Uh, and I'm already ranked major. So now, I've managed to turn this game around by capturing... Um, so far four out of the six objectives what am I going to do right now of course drive over to Delta and see if I can capture Delta as well and boost my uh, boost my capture points I'm in a tank that's that's capable of doing that because I have the speed and mobility to do it so why not just go ahead and drive straight to Delta and see if I can capture it but obviously there's going to be some resistance over here so I need to probably fight some guys here, which is exactly what I'm doing. Now I'm showing you the map here um, because that I'm showing you that Delta is the only place available to cap out right now. And that is why I'm showing you the map that I'm heading over there. Now it is almost impossible for me to fight this guy alone. Two guys in fact. So I'm just going to wait for my teammates to get over here before I rush over there and see if I can flank them. Now this, while well, this guy is... Um, these two guys are distracting them i'm going to reload and as i am almost fully reloaded i am going to rush down there and see if i can shoot that lt432 shoot the 432 first why because he reloads a lot quicker and he has a lot of mobility therefore he is a more dangerous tank so let's get rid of him first i took a I took one shot from him that's okay and now let's just get rid of this um tank destroyer He's not looking at me, so I'm going to be good. 
I didn't get the killing shot, but that's okay. Now reload my tank and see if I can make it into the uh, objective uh, delta and earn some of that free, well not free, some of that uh, frontline XP points. Uh, I managed to be a little bit drunk there and hit the rock, but that's okay. I'm going to be all right. Uh, turn on my uh, travel mode and uh, try to drive over the uh, repair station and get myself topped up. I'm going to ignore those guys behind me. Why? Because shooting those guys aren't going to boost me up as quickly as getting into the... Um, capture objective objective delta here you go five objectives out of six that i got myself involved in now i'm gonna make general in this game mode and i'm not just gonna make general i'm gonna make general of the army uh, that means the most xp in my team gives me that special badge it means i have you know it means biggest dickers big penis general of the army guy i'm not actually general yet i'm still major but i'm telling you that i'm going to be general and i'm only going to be general only by doing seven thousand damage look at my damage count right there only seven thousand damage and i'm going to be general of the army there's going to be two other guys or three other guys that have ten thousand damage and not even general 10,000 damage and they are captain and they are major you don't want to be those guys because those guys spend a lot of time doing damage most probably sitting at the back taking less risk you know hoping for players like me out in the front doing the spotting for them while they are in their tank destroyers or whatever sniping from the back yes you do 10,000 damage but what's the point if you are 10,000 damage and captain the difference between captain and general is 600 frontline points 600 because for a captain and with 10,000 damage you only get 600 frontline points so that's not going to advance you that much but if you are general you're going to get 1200 points that's the difference between captain and general so there's no point if you have a lot of damage but don't have a lot of frontline points and i made it to general by doing the bare minimum of damage some people even make it to general by doing four five thousand points because they focus their intention their attention completely on capturing the objectives or shooting and destroying tanks uh, if they were defending shooting and if and destroying tanks that are inside the objectives so remember that's what you got to do in this mode think about mobility mobility isn't just about fast mobile tanks it is about being flexible it is about situational awareness uh being aware of what's available on the map for you to attack uh, even i i applied mobility even when i was in a heavy tank a a, a cannabaron action x even when i was in that tank i was able to apply that mobility mentality because i switched into the tank got into the charlie objective for the sole purpose for the sole for the sole purpose of earning f earning those capture points from the charlie objective no doubt i took a lot of time accomplishing that because i had to wait a long time for backup to arrive before i could capture charlie but i still made it and i still got there now i'm gonna take almost the entirety of hp of this poor lowy lover whatever you want to call it this kind of tank is not great for this kind of purpose for defending in this kind of open positions i'm gonna circle jerk this guy and he's gonna have nothing that he can do about it so i'm already general what am i doing right now i am not conserving my hp i am not trying to hide at the back i am not trying to be a sniper i am using my hp putting myself out there spotting for my team trying to get as much damage or as much um assisted damage as i can 
shooting any guy for myself as I can. Why? Because I am already, already general. There is, I cannot go any higher. You know what I mean? I cannot earn any more extra points than I already have. Oh, I'm, I've already secured 1,200 frontline points. So I might as well just try to secure as much damage as I can, as much assisted spotting damage as I can, put myself out there. I've already accomplished what I want. Uh, the game, you know what I mean? The game is not yet ended and I'm very secure in my position. I'm confirmed general. If I'm lucky, I could be general of the army. General of the army, I don't think earns me any extra uh, experience or HP or anything like that. I'm, I'm not sure about that. I, I'm not 100% sure about that, but I don't think it does. It just gives me an extra nice shiny badge and makes me the guy with the biggest penis on the team. Um, so what I'm doing is just YOLOing forward since I'm already general, just push forward, use, uh, trade my HP and and try to get some HP with my HP. Now, remember, even if you are in defense or in an attack team, always use, always trade your HP. If you're in a medium tank and you have 1500 HP, try to do 1500 damage and lose half your HP. Lose half your HP while doing 1500 damage. That is a good trade. Then you run away and go to the repair station and repair yourself and rinse and repeat, do it all over again. That is a good trade. So always put yourself out there. Be aggressive in this game mode. Now I'm going to show you the results. Uh, of course, I'm going to, I already told you the results. I'm general and general of the army. 7,000 damage and I'm general of the army. Look at those those guys below me. Some of them have 10,000, 11,000 damage and they're not, even general, their captain and their major. What a shame. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy that just does a lot of damage but not uh, but not pushing yourself uh, to rank up because this game is about ranking up. It's not about doing a lot of damage. There's no point if you do 10,000 damage and just rank captain. Try to rank yourself up by uh, earning those uh, frontline points. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you gained some insight into how to make general. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.